graduated from high school this year. So it's, it's, it's nice to see some of the familiar faces going all the way up and get some of the kids all the way through the high school. And um, it's an advantage for me. And it's an, an advantage for the kids, I think. They've got someone I think they can trust and talk to. Um, they can trust that I'm always going to do what's right. But they can trust that the answers that I give them are going to be the best that I can give them. What DARE is. DARE is Drug Abuse Resistance Education. We are not prohibitionists. We're not some popular belief. We do not say that drugs are bad. Misuse of drugs are bad, but not all drugs are bad. I mean, I get a headache, I take an aspirin. That's a drug. But you have to make good, sound decisions. And that's what the DARE program is about. The DARE program, or similar programs, drug prevention programs, can be taught by anyone. They can be taught by the, the health nurse here at the, at the school, or uh, any of the teachers can do it. But what's unique about the DARE program is I get to teach. I get to come into the classroom, they get to question me, I get to question them, I get to talk to them and learn what their needs are here at the school. I have been a DARE officer since 1991. I started teaching DARE in the school system in East Province, Rhode Island, and when I came here they asked me if I could do it here, and I said, sure. sure. I really enjoy doing it, I love doing it. It, it gives me a break to get into the classroom. Um, I get to see some of the things that are going on. As a matter of fact, help keep me young. Because I'm not that young. I'm really not. I didn't, as a matter of fact, tell you all this. I just became a grandfather for the second time this past week. But I don't know if the older one to call me grandfather. No. He called me pops. But anyway, the DARE program, it's worldwide. Um, it started in Los Angeles in 1983, from there went all over the United States. It has gone into the military bases and it's all across the world today. It's taught in Spain, it's taught in, in, in Chechnya, it's taught all over the world. So, and they found that getting a police officer in the classroom works a two-way street. The kids get to relate stories with the police officers and the police officer gets to, really, gets to relate with the kids. And um, here at Hinsdale, the DARE program is 10 weeks long. I have close to 13 weeks that I spend with the kids on any, any given day. It's a one hour class, once a week. Um, I come in, we give them 10 week lessons. I also do a lesson on bullying. Um, I do a video on smoking. And the video, what it does is it reinforces all of the other 10 lessons. And I give it to them about week seven, and they get a preview of the last three weeks. So it's a very good video. They, they get a lot of it. And as I said, we are not prohibitions. People make choices. Sometimes they make the wrong choices. And sometimes they make the wrong choices because they make them too early. And that's what we try to teach them. They, we have a, uh, a thing that we go over every week on how to make decisions, define, assess, Find, assess, anybody? Respond. Respond. Okay. Evaluate. You're always evaluating. When you're making decisions, you evaluate what you've done. How could I have done that better? Which is something that they should do all through life. Whether it be in decisions of making, um, choosing friends, or in baseball. You know, I did the right thing, but how could it have been better? Yeah, I got a single, but I probably could have turned into a double. Maybe I shouldn't have tried the triple. But, but, it's evaluating. What did I do wrong? Learn from your mistakes, so mistakes aren't too long. 